Not long ago I did a video review about the Kiviko Pimple Crate, which I like a lot, and mentioned that the parts made of cardboard that protrude the playfield won't last long. So here we are, one month later. But luckily we have 3D printers and 3D modeling software. First I did a redesign of the ball catching part. For that I measured the front plate of the pinball game and recreated it in Tinkercad with cubes and cutouts. My approach was not to have the exact wide of the center cutout, but a bit wider with slits on both sides for stability, as I don't want to do with the position. The slits are a bit wider than the thickness of the wood because the table is slightly tilted. Afterwards, I did a little bracket with some screws to keep the ball catcher in position while carrying it around. Thankfully, my approach worked very well. The ball catcher is just slided underneath the playfield and so is the bracket, which is afterwards fixated with the two thumb screws. The ramp was a bit more challenging part. First I tried to recreate something similar in Tinkercad with parts of ellipse and similar cutouts. And as you might guess, it didn't work. It would have taken much more fine-tuning, so I tried another approach. Instead of designing the shape of the ramp, I just took the original cardboard ramp, scanned it, imported the file into Adobe Illustrator and traced the shape, and saved it as SVG file. Then I imported the vector file into Tinkercad. Somehow it was much bigger than the dimensions of the SVG file, so I scaled the shape in Tinkercad. I also tried if the shape of the ramp would fit the cutouts of the side panel. Last but not least, I rotated the ramp and cut the edge straight. So this is the first prototype that I printed from the SVG. And as we see, it nearly fits, it's a bit tight here, so 
I think um, I will adjust it a bit and afterwards it should be fine. Once I was satisfied with the shape, I imported the basic shape to Fusion 360, the free version for hobbyists, directly from Tinkercad. I added thickness and cut the ramp via shell function. Then I added the plane for cutting it open. Finally, I added a little ramp so that the ball can enter the ramp but not too steep so that the ball doesn't jump over the rail. Unfortunately, I destroyed the sticker, but testing was fun, the ramp works very well. Next thing to do was to fix the handle of the plunger which regularly comes off. I simply drill the hole in it and fix it with a Phillips screw. The very last issue to address was the wobbly plunger because sometimes the ball gets stuck underneath. For that I once again headed back to Tinkercad to design a cap that can be slided onto the launch area and locks on the side panel on the protrusion of the playfield. The cap works as intended and keeps the plunger in place. Now that every problem is fixed, my kids and I can enjoy playing the pinball again. I hope you enjoyed the video or got some inspiration for solving problems with 3D design and 3D printing. Links to the SCL files are in the description below as well as for the used equipment. Have fun making!